Hi lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your support. And please, if this is your first time, kindly help us by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. Also, put the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now to this class, we shall be looking at how to make a or an off shoulder pencil dress. Okay. So here I have my fabric, I have my my hair stay, I have I have my hair stay and my pepper gum stay. I have my uh, a plain fabric. This is a light scuba. I'll be using this for the sleeve. Okay. Then I have my cup here. Okay. So here I want to I want us to throw more light on uh, fixing of cup on the actual cup uh, to use a perfect cup to use to make a dress okay here i have my cup of uh, 34 inches okay all right and the bust i'm working with is 35 inches okay so now you might be wondering why would the bust would be 35 and i'm making use of a 34 size cup first of all you know that uh, the cups only comes in a, an odd number so you don't have 35 but that is not the real case because at times i've worked on a on on a dress that the boss is 39 inches but the cup i used was 34 inches and it was perfect okay the reason now is because everybody the fast okay some people have extra meats i'll call it meat or, or let's say extra fat at their armhole side okay thereby having a small bust okay so that's kind of people when you take the bust measurement you see that it's much bigger but the bull is just small so what i do at times is to ask my customer your bra size okay so that it will help me to get the actual cup because if i take it um since the bust line is 39 and i say let me use a like 38 a uh, cup bra cup you will end up having uh let the, the 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 breast will be the cup will be excess okay and it will give do not give the dress a a, a very nice fitting so it's better you ask them or you just use your eye to gaze okay why some people their booze is uh is big is is uh is moderate with the with the body okay so just ask or you can if you are good at gazing you can also just gaze and know the curve to use okay then most of the times um some people their boss might be 40 like my i have my my own measurement is uh, 41 inches but i use cup of 40 and it is perfect so it's 42 and i will still use cup of 40 and it will be perfect okay all right so just check very well so that the you won't end up uh, fixing a cup that is uh, bigger or larger okay so that is that about the cup okay and so now we can go over to cutting out our fabric okay here i have my fabric folded into four so we will be cutting out the down part first before cutting out the upper part. So here what we have to do is just to take away the, the half length from the full length so we get the down part of the dress. So the full length I'm working with is 40 inches and the half length we have is uh, 15 inches. So 40 minus 15 will be giving us 25 inches. So we just go ahead and mark out 25 inches. And of course, I'll be adding extra allowance for my folding. So I'll be adding extra allowance of 2 inches to make it 27 inches. Okay, from the half length, sorry, from the waistline, we will take our, our hip measurement. So the hip I'm working with, so the, our, sorry, our hip line is 9 inches. Okay. 
Then our under hip is 13 inches. This is for the gown length, okay? But if you are working for a skirt, here will be 8 inches, while under bust will be 12 inches. You can go ahead and take your own measurements. But I think I call the standard because almost all the sizes that I've measured, it gives me the same thing. So after this now, we'll start imputing the circumference, okay? So the waist we are working with is um, 28 inches into 4 to give us 7 inches. So here I'll mark my 7 inches. Then I'll be adding extra inch. I'll be adding extra inches for our dart. I'll add extra 1 inch for the dart. And I'll add 2 inches. For seam allowance. Remember that this will be having a zip at the back. So I left one and a half inches for my zip allowance. You can go ahead to make yours two inches depending on what you want. Okay, so here I have one and a half inches for our zip. So the bust measurement you are working, sorry, the hip measurement you are working with is 39 inches into four to give us 9.75. 9.75 and I'll add extra 2 inches for seam allowance. Then my under hip is 37 inches into 4 to give us 9.25. Then I'll add extra 2 inches for seam allowance. So here I have 9.25 and 2 inches. So into together we are giving us 11.25. So coming down to the hem part. I will mark that 11.25. 11.25. What I have on my under bust is what I am bringing down to the hem line. Okay? So when I measured, when I uh, impute the 11.25, which is what we have at our, at our under bust, here now we go in. Okay? Remember we said we are making a pencil dress. So we go in so as to make, to get the shape of the pencil so i usually go in by three inches but you can decide to go in by two inches or two and a half depending on how pencil you want it to be okay so here i like using three inches so that i will get my pencil well so here i will mark three inches so i'll just go ahead now and connect from the waist to the hip from the hip to the under hip and that to the, my hem line, okay? So I'll just go ahead and blend it. Okay, so that is it about the down part. So you go ahead now to cut this out. This is the shape we have. 
So we put those aside now and cut out the upper part. Okay. So here, remember that we, that we are cutting for an off shoulder. We are making an off shoulder dress. So here I'll be minusing what I want to be taking away for my off, which is 5 inches. So my measurement should be starting from 5 inches. And the half length I'm working with is 15 inches. So I'll be adding an extra 1 inch for my um, seam, sorry for my uh, folding, sorry for the joining at the down part. Okay, so I'll be adding 1 inch, making it 16 inches. So from those 5 inch now, so here now will be my starting point. Then I will mark my my under bust. The under bust I'm working with is 13 inches. I'll be adding an extra half inch to it to make it 13 and a half. Then the nipple point from shoulder to nipple point is 10 inches. So I'll mark 9.5. Then my upper bust is 7 inches. So I'll add an extra half inch to make it 7.5. Okay. Alright. So I'll go ahead now to make a straight line to connect us. Okay, so the next thing to do is to input our span, uh, bust band measurement, which is the difference between the two nipples, and it's 7 inches. So 7 into 2 will give us 3.5. So I'll be adding an extra half an inch for my joining, okay? So here I'll be marking 4 inches. I'll mark 4 inches here. I'll mark 4 inches here. And I'll mark 4 inches down to the okay so coming to my shoulder line i'll be adding one inch to it so instead of marking four inches i'll mark five inches so connect this with a straight line i'll connect all those four inches okay then I will connect it to those 5 inches. Coming to our waistline, I'll be coming out, so I'll add, come out here with 1 inch and here with 1 inch. Then I'll do the same to my under bust. One inch at this side and one inch at this side. And coming to my under bust, they'll come out by one inch. And here too, I'll mark my one inch. Then I'll connect this one inch together. Okay. All right. Then at our bust point, I'll come down by one inch. Now also go up by one inch. Hope you are following. Okay. Here I'll come up by one inch and I'll go down here by one inch. All right. So after having done this now, I'll go ahead to connect this. From this one inch now, I'll connect to this point and I'll also connect to this point. Coming here at our shoulder line, I'll come out by one inch at both sides. From those five inch that we measured. I'll 
come out by one inch here and I'll come out by one inch here. So I'll connect this. I'll connect this one inch to this one inch that we came up with and this one to this one also. So I'll just go ahead now to blend this. So here I'll go ahead to place our measurement. So the bust I'm working with is 35 inches into 4 to give us 8.75. So here I will mark my 8.75 Then here I have 1 inch here Okay, you know that this place will be going out So I have to replace it at this point So I will go ahead and impute that 1 inch Then I will add extra 2 inches for seam allowance So here, I'll be adding my waistline measurements. When you watch some videos, you will see, or oh, maybe I don't know where you lean. Some people do impute uh, under bust measurement before waist measurement. But when I make my own uh, half length, or, or if, I want, if I want to make dress for my, my peplum or for gown, I usually take my half length at my just one inch after the under bust and you see that the measurement there is no much different it's usually the same thing okay so it depends some people take their own half length at their at almost their nip, uh, navel okay on top of their belly i don't like it i usually take my own at after the bust at the under bust that tiny waist place you see i usually take mine okay i don't know where you are taking yours if you are taking your own down then you impute your under bust and your waist line so my under bust and my waist is um the same okay so i'll be just be adding the my waistline measurements so the waist I'm working with is 28 inches into 4 to give us 7 inches. Here I'll put back those 2 inches here. Then I'll add extra 2 inches for my seam allowance. Coming to our shoulder line, the shoulder I'm working with is 14 inches into 2 to give us 7 inches. Okay, so here because I'm working for an off shoulder, I won't be imputing that 7 inches. I'll be taking away 2 inches to it. So what I will have left is 5 inches. So I'll be using 5 inches for this. This is how I normally get my off shoulder very correctly and well so that it will balance properly so here i will mark my five inches and remember that we take away one one inch here which is a uh, two inches so when i mark the five inches from that five inch now i will replace this by that two inches at this junction i am not adding any allowance Okay, I don't usually add allowance and it will still give me what I want. But if you want, you can go ahead and add only one inch of allowance. But I don't. Okay, and I like what it gives me, the outcome. So I'll go ahead now to connect this, forming our armhole. Okay. So I'll go ahead now to cut those. But before that, I'll be imputing my neckline measurement. So here I have, you can make a circle neck, a round neck, um, um, 
sweetheart v neckline it depends on what you want so here i'll be making a little bit of sweetheart neck remember i'll my we have my nose five inches so i'll place that my five inches so that it will guide me properly okay and the upper bust is seven and a half so i wouldn't want this to reveal that much so i'll be taking a six and a half okay i'll be taking six and a half so that by the time I line it up, I'll be getting, I'll get to seven inches. Okay. All right. So here, from my arm, from my shoulder line, which is this point, is where I'm going to connect to this point here. Sorry about this, my chalk, as in, I don't know, the thing is, is coming out more than what is supposed to come out. Okay, just make your shape the one you want or prefer. So we go ahead now and cut out the back piece. So here I will go ahead and mark my half length of 16 inches. Taking away from 5 inches, I'll mark my 5 inches. Remember that our upper boss is 7.5. Okay, alright, so... My under boss is 13 and a half inches. Okay, I don't think other ones are not that necessary. So I'll just go ahead to make a straight line here. Okay, here for the back piece, I'll go ahead to impute my half length. Okay, taking away the 5 inches. I started my measurement from the 5 inches. And here I have my 16 inches. Okay, then here I have my 3 13 and half, which is our under bust. And I have our upper bust of 7.5. The nipple point is not that necessary. So what I have to do now is to impute back my bust band measurements, which is 3.5 plus half an inch, making it 4 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark those 4 inches all through. Including here, upper part here, I'll be uh, marking four and a half inches. Okay, so I'll go ahead now and connect all those lines with a straight line. Connect all those now. Oh. 
Oh, so, 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 so sorry, sorry, sorry. Before imputing this, remember that this is the back, so we have to be, we have to add the, the allowance to our zip. So remember that the down part, we added one and a half inches. So I'll go ahead to add that one and a half inch again. So I haven't done this now, I can now go ahead to impute the boss band which is 4 inches. So the next thing to do is to impute our measurements. The bust measurement is 35 into 4 to give us 8.75. Eight then the waistline, 28 into 4 to give us 7 inches. Okay. So I'll add extra 2 inches here. I'll see my allowance and here also I'll add extra two inches to the same allowance so I'll go ahead and connect this okay come in here I will add I will be I'm putting our our shoulder measurement for 10 into 2 will give us 7 minus 2 to give us 5 inches. I'll mark my 5 inches and I won't be adding extra allowance to it. So I'll just go ahead and connect this. Okay. And for the neckline. Seven and a half is perfect. So I'll just make an oval shape just like this. Stopping at the line of our zip. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. open up here okay so this is okay for the back so I'll go ahead and cut out my linings both for the upper part and the down part okay you cut out my linings for it then for the upper part Remember we said we'll be using coke. So before that, I'll go ahead to use my hair stay to gum out this. I'll use my hair stay to gum this out. Okay. So I'll be cutting three of my hair stay. I'll be cutting those pieces. I'll use this to cut this out. Okay. Into three pieces. 
then here i will use this to cut it too okay making it five pieces of those three of those two of these then i'll use it to gum out this okay so that it will give it um uh, a strong uh, look okay but i'm cutting this out only for the front piece this is a um a quality wrapper so it's not that uh, light but if it's not you can go ahead and cut this but just like once okay just cut it once or twice to comb out the back piece to uh, make it have a little bit of weight but since it's a good wrapper i won't be cutting out the hair stay for it so i'll be cutting only for the front part so i'll be making cutting this three two of these and three of this so that when I fix my cup, um, it will stand very well and it will be good. Okay. Okay, coming to the sleeve. I have it uh, cut out already. It's an off shoulder and um, this doesn't really need the... Uh, a measurement because the upper part will be having an elastic while the down part we also have an elastic okay so just cut out um, any size of your choice then fold here and insert your elastic then also fold the upper part and insert your elastic then mark out your armhole part okay you can just equally join the front part, then place the armhole and use it to trace out the armhole part. Or you can use your eyes and gaze it out and cut it out. You don't usually know you need a, a perfect measurement. It can only need measurement if we are not adding an elastic at the upper part. That is when you start calculating the presence of shoulder. Okay? The presence of shoulder. Whatever thing you have when you measure the round shoulder, then you join the front and the back measure what you have in the front measure what you have at the back part then minus it from the round shoulder whatever thing you have left you divide it into two and get your sleeves okay i made a full video a full tutorial well detailed on how to calculate your off shoulder so that when you fix it it won't be falling out of the person's uh, body Okay, so I will put in the description at the, uh, at the link at the description part. So you can just uh, click there and watch the full video on how to get your off shoulder to stand without falling. Okay, so I'll just go to the machine now. Line up my, uh, join the front, the back part, then line them out, both the down part with the linings. Then I will join everything, then I will come back and uh, show you the outcome of the dress. If you have any question, just feel free to leave that on the comment section. Or any work that we want us to do for you, just do that and we will do justice to it. Let's continue helping each other. Okay. So please, don't go without subscribing. Keep watching. And please watch the ADs. Thank you. Okay, so this is the end of the dress. As you can see, it comes out very beautiful. So thank you so much for watching till the end. Till we meet in my next class. Bye.